there guys, Portalmaster9351 here, and in this video I've got some super, super exciting news to share with you guys. So in this video, I'm going to actually be sharing with you the images of all of the new figures. Now last night, I was trying to avoid getting a copyright strike, and it looks like all of the videos from yesterday are still standing, so I do believe now that it is safe to make this video. So, what am I going over? Well all the new characters, like I said. So first up, we have Blastertron. So as I said yesterday, um, his body is basically exactly the same. Um, his sword is is new, of course, but it is still stylized to his old style. Now, once again, we don't really have gameplay of any of these guys, but still, it is pretty cool to actually get to see Blastertron. Uh, next up, we have Buckshot. Now, we still really don't know what species Buckshot is 100%. He does look sheep or ram-like, given the horns and just kind of the feet and stuff, but, you know, normally they walk on four legs instead of two legs, so he's not really a normal sheep or a normal ram. He's some sort of magical sheep or magical ram. He's not He's not a normal character character. Um, as, a, as you can see, his body is actually arched back in a weird shape, if you, if you see what I mean. Um, but its bow and arrow actually looks pretty cool. Um, what I'm really curious about is his gameplay. I'm really curious how he's actually going to play, um, just given that he kind of he looks a little different. We have Peñata. There's nothing really new with Peñata besides there's a glare over Peñata, so there's nothing really good, good to see there. For Flare Wolf, we can see his toy form in like, you know, actual official toy form instead of just part of it, and we can actually see that the back of his toy form has some sort of fire coming out of it. Now I assume that this must be Flare Wolf's tail, that's the only logical thing that could be there, so that's what's there. Um, if we keep coming down, we get to Tech, and this is where we can see Master Chain Reaction. Chain Reaction looks really cool. I lo the face is a very interesting like look to it, so I think that that's very interesting. He's very bushy, very woolly, and I'm actually really curious as to what species Chain Reaction is, because it appears to be something that we've never, ever seen before. Um, as you can see, he's got those wooden swords, or maybe those are like brass, I'm not 100% sure, but there's some sort of wood or like brown metal with chainsaws on there, so I'm really curious to actually see how he plays. We've got Robo here. We can see that he's actually got that little Robin Hood feather sticking out of his head, and you can see that he's got like that one eye, that one like uh, camera eye type thing. Um, his his bow and arrow actually has a bowstring in contrast to Buckshot, who does not have a bowstring. So yeah, uh, lots of detail on Robo's figure. I think I think that he looks one of the coolest of the new figures. Next up, we've got Boom Bloom. As you can see right here, she actually doesn't have throwing stars. She has a whip. So I'm really curious how Boom Bloom will actually be a ninja, considering that she's got a thorn whip. I love that design, though. That is definitely a new type of design. We haven't really gotten anything with whips yet in Skylanders. And I think that's a, honestly, I think that's a really awesome concept. So really excited to see how Boom Bloom plays. For, uh, next up, we've got Master Wildstorm. So we can see that Wildstorm's face actually does look a little bit different than maybe we've seen before. I don't know. I guess he's just a little skinnier than I thought before. So Wildstorm is a knight, in case you couldn't tell. But man, that sword. That sword looks so amazing. I would, I would buy that sword and I would frame it just because that sword looks amazing. So yeah, that's Wildstorm. Uh, for Bad Juju, Bad Juju doesn't really look too terribly different, at least not in terms of her actual figure. Of course, she actually has, you know, she's dual wielding swords, so, you know, there's that. Um, but it's a, it's a pretty straightforward design for Bad Juju. I'm not really sure if I like her, just because she is so simplistic, but yeah. Same thing with Grave Clobber, actually, um, because Grave Clobber is really basically the same, just, just water instead of earth so yeah as far as as far as those two are concerned i don't really know how impressed i am with them but i am still excited to actually finally be able to see what their figures are since that has been a mystery uh for quite a while especially given that we really couldn't tell what grave clobbers was his fists are very disproportional to the rest of his body so that's why it looks so weird um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for the figures that were revealed recently. I do hope that you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, we'll be getting some real HD images of these guys. We'll be getting some artwork, and we'll be getting some gameplay of these guys really, really soon. Because we are so close to launch, and I honestly cannot wait. So yeah, that's pretty much all for now. This has been Portalmaster9351. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!